Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So we are back with a new series. The series would be on system design fundamentals and it will be covering a lot of topics. So we'll start from the scratch. We'll discuss why a distributed system is needed in the first place, why the distributed system has evolved. And we are going to talk about a lot of topics like load balancing, caching, database, both SQL, NoSQL, data partitioning, cap theorem, bloom filters, and so on. There are a lot of topics. So this list is not a full list. This you can see there are many more. So we'll be talking a lot about them. We'll do hands-on exercise to see how it all works. So you'll get a full idea from the start to the end how the distributed system works, how to deploy the application, how to monitor the application. So in terms of uh, these system design fundamentals, we are going to discuss and then we are going to also do some hands on exercise on the system design components like Redis, Cassandra, Mongo, Zookeeper, Kafka, Kubernetes, Docker, Memcache, Postgres. Of course, this is not a full list. This is just an overview of what we are going to do. We are going to do from the scratch. Even if you have no experience on system design, you are going to get a lot of benefits out uh, from this course. So this course is going to be technology agnostic. We are not going to tie up uh, any language to it. We are going to understand the concept as a whole. And uh, some of the example might be in Java, might be in Python, might be in .NET. We will see depending on the scenarios. But definitely the main lookout would be the concept over here. So you'll get a very good understanding. So if you're interested in this course that we are starting from tomorrow or day after and we'll have weekly one or two videos. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you are notified that uh, whenever a new episode is out. So we'll be starting with the very basics uh, from tomorrow or day after. Previously also I have created a mini system design project which was full hands on where we dealt with the code. So this one is more going to be from the concept point of view from the understanding point of view. Definitely it will have a lot of code but not as much as we have in this course over here. So with that let's begin soon. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends and uh, colleagues who are willing to learn from the scratch. And as always we are going to keep it interactive so that you can post your question in the comment section below and if you are interested give a like to this video and share with your friends as well. Hope to talk to you all during the series so please stay subscribed and um, press the bell icon. See you soon. Bye bye and take care.